Hey everybody, this is Adam Welch. Welcome back to another Contrastly video short. Today we're going to be discussing how Lightroom non-destructively handles your images. Now this goes back to the actual importation process, which we're going to talk about here as well. But what we're going to be driving at here today is actually helping you understand how Lightroom really works with your images. And folks, it's actually based on a lie, a relative lie, compared to what you might think Lightroom is doing. Now let's take a look. We are here in the import uh, dialog of Lightroom Classic CC. I am working in the latest iteration of Lightroom at the time of this video. That is Lightroom Classic CC version 8.3.1. Now if you don't have the latest version of Lightroom, that is okay. The actual way Lightroom handles your image files has not changed since the beginning. So let me show you. You might have already heard that Lightroom is a non-destructive photo processor. That means it's not actually editing your real files. It is editing a virtual copy that has been brought into Lightroom's catalog. If you look here at the left, we have a source. Here in the middle, we have how we're going to bring the files into Lightroom. And over here at the right, finally, we have where we're going to be putting these files should we choose to do so. Now we're going to look up at top first. We have these four options, copy as DNG, copy, move, and add. Copy as DNG and copy are virtually the same thing. The DNG is just a digital negative. That is Adobe's proprietary raw file. So if you copy as DNG, that is going to make it a Adobe raw. Just uh, think of it that way. Copying will be copying the files from their physical location, like our memory card, and putting them to another physical location, let's say on my external hard drive here. Now you choose where you take your image from, how you want to get it into Lightroom, and where you want it to go, should you choose to do it that way. But here's the thing, you're not looking at your actual pictures when you're working with them inside of Lightroom. This may look like the image, that I've brought into the Lightroom that was on my memory card, but it is not because this image is actually here in my Lightroom catalog. It has been made into a virtual copy which takes up very little relative space when compared to the actual physical file. The reason why that's important is because I have over 5,000 images in this catalog and they are only taking up 220 megabytes of space. That's extremely important, not only from a actual standpoint of the speed in which Lightroom can operate, but the physical size of these files will be so huge working in Lightroom that usually your computer would never be able to handle it. So whenever you see your images inside of Lightroom, what you are working on is a virtual copy. They are wherever you left them and wherever you've put them on the import process. So whenever you hit that export button, you choose where it's going to go. That's when your edits are going to be applied to your physical image and stored wherever you want, either on the computer or on some kind of external drive. Lightroom is a very brilliant program from Adobe. And if you want to learn more about the import export process and how Lightroom handles your files, we've just updated our Lightroom Mastery ebook, the complete guide, the most comprehensive guide that you would ever need for working with your images inside of Lightroom. And we also have a dedicated section on our Decoding Lightroom video e-course. Again, it's going to tell you everything that you want to know. It's all up to date when it comes to working with Lightroom Classic CC. I hope you've enjoyed this, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch with us or leave them in the comments below. Until next time, have a great day, everybody.